Hey Johnny, how's it going, dude? Are you doing okay? You look a little sad. I can't lie, I've been better. My physical and mental health are struggling right now. Oh my gosh, Johnny, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, do you want to go to the gym with me? It'll definitely help out with your physical and mental health, get you back on track. I would, but I'm going to the bar later with Vanessa. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. It's a little late notice anyway. Tomorrow morning, I'm going swimming if you want to come with, like 9 a.m., give you plenty of time to sleep. I can't, bro. I have to buy drugs. Wait, hold on. You have to buy drugs at 9 in the morning tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to get a massage tomorrow afternoon if you want to come with and get one for yourself. I would, but I ain't got no money. That's because you spent all of it on drugs and alcohol. Hey everybody, I just wanted to make this quick little video. It's not the typical video I usually make on this channel. It's not about fitness exactly, but it's about what you should do if you feel stuck or you just don't feel like you're progressing the way that you want to when it comes to fitness, uh, relationships, your job, whatever the case may be. And uh, in my 21 years of experience, um, I have experienced a lot, but obviously not everything. So take this all with a grain of salt. But I do want to share with you my perspective of the, of the things that I've experienced when it comes to this topic and the things that I see are most common in my peers that are keeping them from achieving their goals. Now, the number one thing that kept me from being able to start progressing to the place I want to be at, because I'm nowhere near it, but I'm making progress to that, is my friend group, the people that I surround myself with, my circle. Now there's a popular saying that I'm sure a lot of people have heard that are watching this right now, but you are going to be the average of the five people that you hang around most and you're going to be the sixth whatever person you're hanging around. So if you're hanging around five bums, you're going to be the sixth bum. If you're hanging around five drug dealers, you're probably going to be the sixth drug dealer. <laughs> uh, and it goes the opposite way too. If you're hanging around a bunch of people, like five people that are millionaires, you're going to be the sixth millionaire because you're going to be surrounded by this influence of people uh, for good in that case. And that's why it's so important because if you're trying to progress into a different identity, but you're keeping yourself surrounded by something completely opposite of that, the place that you don't want to be just because it's comfortable, just because you don't really know how to get out. It's going to be very, very difficult for you to make any progress or have this feeling that you're not stuck. So number one, take a look at the people you're surrounding yourself with because that's going to have a heavy influence on who you are and where you go. Now, number two is to stop looking at the end goal and focus on what you can do today and tomorrow. If you have a goal to lose 50 pounds and you're 250 pounds, you're trying to get down to 200, that can be overwhelming to look at and be like, how am I going to do that? And you might even give up before even trying because you're like, that's not even going to be possible for me. But when you break it down into what I can do today, okay, today I'm going to figure out my calories. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the grocery store, completely change up what I have in the kitchen. The next day I'm going to start going to the gym on this day, this day, this day. Making these little changes today, tomorrow, the next day, breaking it down into those little steps it already makes it 10 times more mentally attainable than it would be if you were just focusing on the big glaring fact that you need to lose 50 pounds. Reason number three is you're not willing to invest in yourself, whether that's physical money or time. And the perfect example of this is, I, I see this all the time, okay? I'll go to parties here and there, not a huge party guy, I'll go sometimes. And when I do go, there's typically a few people that'll be like, Hey Adam, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm trying to start going to the gym and get like you. I just haven't really gotten around to it because of work and my girlfriend and stuff, but keep it up, dude. I'm like, cool. Thanks for the support, man. And I'll just go about my time there. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this guy told me this two months ago and then two months before that and then four months before that. It's like, come on. <laughs> And I'm not trying to bash these people or say that partying is bad because that's absolutely not true. Partying is fine here and there. But it's the principle that these same people that say these things, that they have, they're they too busy with work and their girlfriend, that they're still at that party and I still see them on Snapchat almost every night going to clubs and bars and stuff. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? If that's what you really wanted to do, then why are you wasting your time with all this bullshit? 
it's like the reason that you feel behind is because you're spending 20 bucks a month on Netflix, $100 a week on drinks at the bar and the clubs and all that stuff when you could be making legitimate progress with yourself and your life by focusing on your fitness, by upping your uh, your finances, by learning new things, by buying courses like my workout programs, for example, shameless plug, you can find it in the description. But seriously though, if you feel like a loser, you feel inadequate, you feel like a fat piece of shit, Stop doing the things that make you feel like a loser, inadequate, and a fat piece of shit. <laughs> so the moral of this one is just look at the ways that you're investing your time and your money and see if there's ways you can cut back on some of it and maybe redirect that into more productive areas. And if you don't want to give up those things, then chances are that's probably what you want deep down. You know, there's only so much you can do to motivate a person before it falls on their shoulders and it's required of them to take the action and it's not your job to do that for someone else. So if you feel stuck, you feel like you're not motivated or you just, you're not progressing the way you want to, take a look at one, your circle, the people you surround yourself with every day, make sure that they're good people to be around. Number two, break down your big goal into smaller steps so that it makes the bigger goal seem easier to be attained. And number three, make sure you're not only investing your money into things that are productive, but also your time. Because the average American adult has roughly 36 to 40 hours of leisure time after taking into account work, sleep, cooking, uh, travel time. 40 hours is a lot of time that you can either throw away or invest into yourself. But that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was definitely a different type of video. I don't really make these kind of videos, but I just felt the urge to do this after having a long conversation with someone about why they don't feel motivated and whatnot. If you did like the video, please let me know by hitting the like button and commenting your thoughts on this topic, whether these are things you've struggled with, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I would love to hear either way. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Stocking me must be Espanol, I'm on a bull run. Everything looking up, competition wondering what deck I'm pulling from. Where the time takes, love the vibrations, I'm getting violated. This is not a cold world, I've been on fire telling me.